morning. Looks like the fog's gonna stay out probably the rest of the day, and then we got that chance of rain and snow tonight. I think what we're gonna do is just switch over and start growing corn. And we're gonna haul that to town. This grain cart's just a little guy we have sitting around here, so that's what we're gonna put on the 23 today. The other green cart back here, the old John Deere 500, we're going to get it stuck on the tractor that was running that gravity wagon yesterday. DJ, the comedian, was running. And we'll uh, get the corn head back up. We'll get the corn head put on the combine and get headed over there. See if we can't get a whole 800,000 bushels run so we can get a load out of town. Look in the head. Going from beans to corn. So we're driving down the road a little ways. We're going to take the rear wheel fist back off. Done. I don't know if you can see that, but that hose is leaking. Right there, coming right out of that splice. And that is a pretty good drip. Well, that's not good. We're gonna have to get that off there right away. Get that changed. Road in the combine to the cornfield. Just as I get down here on the side of the road to turn and get the head on. That little line that was leaking decided, nope, we had enough. She just blowed out right there. Right there. Doggone it. So she's draining the oil tank, unfortunately. That's just a major sucker rule. You can take probably five gallons to fill it back up. And now we're just barely sitting on the side of the road. Anything funny to say, comedian? So we got the new hose on. Nice and pretty. There it is. Got the new hose on. I've also noticed the two bolts here for the pump mounting are just a little bit on the loose side. How about that? They're both still there, but they're loose. So I'm going to grab another wrench here and get them tightened up. Got the oil put back in. It took right at five gallons to fill it. So that was handy. About a five gallon bucket. We'll get those lines tightened, or those bolts tightened up. And back on the road. The head hooked on. We can't run a little corn this afternoon. Well, here's our first pass of the corn. Looks like there's quite a bit of corn in here. Hard press to get what the average field might be. inside here we had a little piece of metal hanging down and this is it this is what it was that's part of the vein up inside the, the cone that helps to feed the crop up into the rotor and basically these veins are are rolled around here in a circular motion spiral motion going in going in through this way and this guy had come loose, lost the bolt out of it. That one's gone. That one's still in there because it got bent over. So 
that could have been bad if that would have got rammed around and caught inside the rotor in there that could have made a lot of damage so we'll just take that out it's a short little piece it's not going to hurt a heck, of a heck of a lot if we just run without it and you probably can't see but it is just starting to snow just a little bitty tiny flakes so we're going to try to get these two grain cars clear full we got the little one full already we're just going to try to get this little parker converted into a grain wagon full there you can kind of see some of it kind of picking up a little bit here melting on the truck that's the little bitty flakes that we're getting so we'll get this thing put back together and head out probably doing 160 maybe 170 there's a few spots where like right here she's probably doing maybe a little more than that but we get into spots like this where there's down corn and stuff around the end rows where there wasn't much from shading or deer had been eating the heck out of it so it'll probably average 160 or so, maybe a little better that's hard to tell we just started back up and show you guys this ditch this guy was here this morning or that ditch was there this spring when this got planted which is why you can't see it very well but the rows don't go across there anymore they changed direction and went the other way so the planter can avoid the ditch now to me <laughs> I think I would have maybe done some tillage and got rid of that ditch but he didn't Oh well, we made it through nice and gentle. Well, with no semi here, we're gonna have to call that a night. We got the two grain carts full. That's enough to almost fill a semi. Be enough to get us started. Got these endros off on this side. So we'll just go ahead and put this on a little grain buggy here. And just a little far away. Better get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer. empty but we got more room in there so I guess we'll run a little bit more went and got a little more hopefully this will be enough to fill that car down the way up might not be quite clear and fall but it'll be pretty close so we're gonna get this thing fueled up and ready to go Maybe tomorrow? I don't know. There's snow coming down. Might not be able to run for a little bit, but that's why we switched to corn so we could run a little bit. We couldn't have run, I don't think we could have run beans today. The sun just wasn't out long enough. Well, there it is. That's mostly full. Could have used a little bit more, but we gotta get the tarp over it too. That can be difficult. We'll go over here and check this other wagon, make sure it's got the tarp all the way over anyway that's it for tonight guys hey while you're at it watch me on YouTube you gotta hit the subscribe button like and comment and see what what kind of questions or what I can answer for you if you got questions about organic or how to become or transition to organic I'll certainly give you all the info I can help you out so anyway we'll catch you later <laughs>